Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with... We're opening our last master case. This is it. Pick your team nine of Unparalleled. First inner case of this master case. Break 10 already in the store. And then after that, no more. Thanks to John Samuelson with the Rams. Last spot mojo. Thanks, everybody else, for filling this up. For a second there, I didn't think we were going to do this tonight. <laughs> It got it got a little slow, but then there was like an, a, another there was a good late night rally. So thanks everybody. All right, so this should bring us about fifteen minutes past the hour, and then after that, we'll be doing our all spot sold promo. And then after that, my knife is in my pocket. After that, I'm not sure what we're gonna do after that. No, I'll, I'll give away money. That's for sure. I'll give away money, and then maybe we can squeeze in another break. Now, Johnny L. in the chat was asking, do you think Deshaun Watson is real? <laughs> I, told, I told him before the break. I was like, yeah, I think he's real. He's not like a ghost or a hologram. He's definitely real. Now, I know what Johnny meant. He, is Deshaun Watson for real? Is he for real? All right, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Six, right side. RP right there. So that's the side we're going to do right now. This is reserved for pick your team number 10. Yeah, I think Deshaun Watson is for real. I think he's got his arm seems pretty good, pretty accurate. He's He can run, but I don't think he has to. You know, I see him, I see him like a, I see him as a sort of, like a Russell Wilson kind of guy, right? He can still run. You know, he could. He doesn't have to. He's got enough of an arm and enough accuracy, I think, to make to make plays, to throw things around. You think you think he's going to... I don't know about... Johnny's saying now, you guys, he's going to make more than 50 touchdowns. That seems like a lot. I don't think he's going to – I mean, maybe – I mean, I don't know how it's – not this year. He could, I guess, eventually. That's a, that's a lot of touchdowns. I don't think he's going to be running as much, so I don't know if he's – they wanted to do that. So he's just going to have to do most of those TDs in the air. So how many touchdowns? So, so spread those TDs around. Where? Hold on, Johnny. That's that's crazy talk. Houston Texans depth chart. Let's go to ESPN. Who's he gonna throw it to? DeAndre Hopkins. How many touchdowns is he gonna get? Let's count out the touchdowns. Is DeAndre Hopkins going to get 20 touchdowns? Has he even gotten that close in his entire career? Is The most he's had was last year. He got 13 touchdowns. He'd have to get 20 touchdowns. And, I don't know, Lamar Miller would have to catch another, like, 9 or 10 touchdowns. That's That's 30. Who's going to get the other 20 touchdowns? Kiki Kuti, Braxton Miller, w Will Fuller. Those guys aren't going to get the touchdowns. Who's going to catch the other touchdowns? Will Fuller, you think Will Fuller's going to catch 10 touchdowns? I don't know. I don't mind Will Fuller, but I don't know if he's... He, I don't know if he's 10 touchdowns, 10 receiving touchdowns. I mean, you got to... I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. Am I wrong, folks? No one, no one's backing up. No one's backing you up, Johnny. Had a 150. Trey Quinn. And then we've got Dorrance Armstrong Jr.
Dorrance Armstrong Jr. going to um, James and the Cowboys. Remember, folks, breaking news, all cards ship. I know the listing says Vet Base doesn't ship, but all cards will ship in this one. Our shipping team was like, you know what? It's just going to be easy to ship everything. And I said, yeah, probably. Hey, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Mason Rudolph. Going to Adam Kupperman and the Steelers. Yeah, not even your fellow Johnny, Johnny L, is backing you up. Johnny B saying 50 is a crazy amount. No way, out of 75. Yeah, I'm looking at the depth chart right now. DeAndre Hopkins has to get like 25 touchdowns. Will Fuller has to get like 10 touchdowns. And then you got to get, I don't know, you got to get a lot of other touchdowns. You think Jordan Atkins is going to, how many touchdowns is Jordan Atkins going to get? Or Akins? Like, he'd have to get close to double-digit touchdowns, too. Out of 200. Derek Carr to 100. Ryan Tannehill to 200. 30 out of 50. Nice patch. Rookie focus for the Panthers. Brad with the Panthers. That's a good looking one. Who's the uh who's the Texans coach? Is he the kind of guy that would that that would like just pour it on to get those touchdowns? Six sixty TDs. Wait, what's the what? Sorry. There's only two quarterbacks. There's only two quarterbacks who have got who have had at least fifty touchdowns. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Tom Brady with fifty. Peyton with with fifty five. Peyton Manning in 2013 had uh, 55 touchdowns. And I'm looking at the receiving touchdowns now. Demarius Thomas had 14. Eric Decker had 11. Wes Welker had 10. Julius Thomas had 12. Like, you got to have at least that. There's four different pass catchers who have double-digit touchdowns. Now, are you telling me that? <laughs> are you telling me that this team is going to do that? Four players with double-digit touchdowns. It's hard to get double-digit. It's not easy. Double-digit. Who? Look, how many double-digit touchdown seasons does Julio Jones have in that offense? And Matt Ryan hasn't even reached that kind of height. Oh, right. It's Bill O'Brien. I like Bill O'Brien. I don't know. 50 touchdowns just sounds crazy. Out of 200. Deshaun Hamilton, Jersey and Auto. For the Broncos. That'll be for Adam as well. That's true, yeah. I mean... There's some coaching pedigree, though. Out of 150, Roosevelt Knicks. Out of 200. I mean, I could see DeAndre Hopkins getting like 15, 20 touchdowns even. Something crazy like that. But then you got to spread double-digit touchdowns to Kuti, Braxton Miller, Will Fuller, Akins, Jamar Mil uh, Lamar Miller. Is that really going to happen? I don't know. 
And you go, this Arden Key to 100. Hey, it'd be, I mean, I laugh now. I do laugh now. There's Malik Jefferson. It'd be cool if he got 50 touchdowns. I have nothing against Deshaun Watson. You know, I don't watch that much college football, so I don't really have a lot of, you know, I don't have nothing against wherever he went, Clemson or whatever, but I have no problem with him. 50 is just a big number. <laughs> There it is, out of 100, Tim Brown. And then we got Mike Hughes, unparalleled autograph for the Vikings. That'll be for Vic. doubt I don't doubt that he can he that he is he is physically capable of doing it but does he have the personnel around him to do it seven games 19 touchdowns I mean even if you double that, 40 touchdowns, right? He's got to find 10 more touchdowns somewhere. There's Dalton Schultz to 75. And we got Denzel Ward. What's tougher, 50 touchdowns or 50 home runs? I don't know if I could... How do you quantify that? Out of 200. Out of 200. And then we've got DJ Moore. This DJ be DJ Moore. Brad with the Panthers. Autograph. He did it at five TDs against a great defense. Yeah, but now people know that he's coming too, right? There's also that. So that ba that's got to balance things out a little bit. There's Calvin Ridley to 150. I mean, maybe. Yeah, but then again, yeah, then again, he does have time to practice with DeAndre Hawkins. There's Devontae Booker, it's 200. Dan Marino, another guy who got high 40s in touchdowns. There's a Crabtree to 150, and Christian Kirk for Robert and the Cardinals. And look at this, Darius Geis. I couldn't find an autograph, but how about a four out of five fireworks, Darius, guys? Mr. Birch, what do you think? How's that? <laughs> Boom! All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop! Wish I had that Katy Perry song. I would play the fireworks song. That's my firework sound. All right, now let's, maybe we'll find some ink. I'm gonna take take a picture of that one. Fifty touchdowns. 
Now, that got me thinking now, Johnny. It's kind of a big, that's a crazy number, but it gets you, it gets you thinking a little bit. You know, that I mean, 50 touchdowns, you're talking about, you're talking about Peyton Manning at 50. I'm looking at the leaders list right now, single season touchdown passers. Peyton Manning, 55. Then Tom Brady, 50. Then Peyton Manning, 49. Then Dan Marino, 48. Drew Brees, 46. Aaron Rodgers, 45. Dan Marino, 44. Drew Brees, 43. Stafford, 41. Kurt Warner tied with Stafford at 41. Andrew Luck, Aaron Rodgers at 40. And there's a bunch at 39. Brady, Brees, Culpepper. Uh, back in 2004. Brett Favre, Peyton Manning again, Aaron Rodgers, they're all 39 touchdowns. I mean, that's a, it's a lot of touchdowns. There's Dante Pettis out of 200. And Derwin James for the Chargers. That'll be for Vic and the Bolts. Hold on. Are you, are you? What's the? What does Vegas say about this, Johnny? Is there? Does someone? Does some book have have a number for that? Is there value in that play? Corey Lindsay to one fifty for the Packers, and then carry on my wayward son Johnson. Nice one for Brad. Brad H. Nineteen out of seventy-five impact. Carry on, Johnson Auto. There's Philip Walker to two hundred. Braxton Barrios out of two hundred. Out of one hundred, MJ Stewart. Derrick Henry to 150, and high flyers, Antonio Brown relic for the Steelers. Add him with that one. Yeah, Eric Bailey's right. I feel like uh, I feel like someone's going to steal TDs too, right? If they're at the four-yard line, you know, if Deshaun Watson's rocking, right, he gets them, he gets them down to like the six-yard line, it's first down. I'm going to run it a couple times maybe, probably. I mean, if those opportunities, if those, uh, you know, running situations turn into passing situations where turn into touchdowns, then, then yeah, yeah, maybe. But you got to face the Jaguars a couple times a year. They've got a good secondary. Is that, uh, is that Hooker back? Malik Hooker, that is, ladies and gentlemen, family show. Malik Hooker went down with an ACL injury last year. You know, he's got a lot of INTs. That could that could disrupt that could disrupt the process. Next box, good luck. Out of 200, we got Khalif Raymond. We've got Anthony Miller to 150 and Jamon Moore, Jersey and Auto for the Packers. Got to find a Josh Allen for Rex. Not seen, seen one. All right, that's a nice one for the Packers. Mike Cody with the Go Pack Go. There's Drew Brees to 75. Des Bryant to 100.
Deion Dawkins for the Bills to 150. Bradley Chubb to 200. And hey, we were just talking about you, Will Fuller. You got to get he's got to get double digit touchdowns. That's for the Texans. That goes to Johnny L. Brett Favre out of 200. And we got Sam Hubbard for Robert and the Bengals. There you go, Robert H. So back in 2011, Aaron Rodgers, this is when the Packers went 15-1. and one, And Aaron Rodgers had a million touchdowns, 45 to be exact. He kind of spread them around a little bit. Hmm. Jordy Nelson had 15. Greg Jennings had nine. Jermichael Finley had eight. James Jones had seven. Donald Driver had six. And then a few here, a few there. When Brady hit 50 TDs back in 2007, he had 50 touchdowns. 23 of those went to Randy Moss. Ben Watson got six. Welker got eight. Jabbar Gaffney got five. I mean, if... Deon, I feel like DeAndre Hopkins has to get... He has to get that kind of number right there. That's the kind of season Deshaun Watson has to have. Like DeAndre Hopkins has to get the twenty that twenty three touchdown. There's Christian McCaffrey. Deshaun, if 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 Hop gets at least ten or at least twenty touchdowns, then I you know you can spread out the rest. Yeah, I think that could be possible. It's out of two hundred. Alvin Kamara to 150. And there's John Kelly on Paralleled Auto for the Rams. That'll be for John Samuelson. Last spot mojo. Out of 25, Brandon Riley for the Bills. That'll be for Rex. EA says sophomore slump for, uh, for Deshaun Watson. Yeah, he had, I think that that's what I'm saying. I th I think I think personnel wise I think that's what that's what Deshaun Watson would have to do to get close to that 50 mark. There's Evan Ingram out of 100 and Kyle Oletta, two color patch and autograph for the Giants. There's Quadri Henderson to 75. You're saying Jordan Akins is going to be like Julius Thomas? I mean, may, may, maybe. It's a little. It's a little bit of a stretch. I mean, it's hard. I feel like a lot of guys can get to that 40 range, 
I mean, there's a reason why only, what, two... There's a reason why only two players have gotten that 50 touchdown mark in all of football history. You know, with all these dynamic offenses, there's just like a... You know, there. I, th I think there's just... It's only Peyton and Tom Brady. That's it. And the other guy that got close is also Peyton Manning. <laughs> it's hard to hit that number. That's why it doesn't. That's why it doesn't happen very often. So I just don't think. I just don't think it's gonna get there. I mean that if that just sounds very over optimistic. Then I mean I could say the same thing. If, if Jordy Nelson, Derek Carr, MVP, Jordy Nelson, um, better hands than Michael Crabtree, he's gonna get 15 touchdowns. Amari Cooper, young talent, great route runner, good route tree. There's another 15 touchdowns there. You know, Marshawn Lynch looks like beast mode of old. He's gonna get 15, 20 touchdowns. Next thing you know, Raiders are 15 and 1. I can do that. I can play that game too. <laughs> but I don't know. There there's there's possibility and probability Bo Scarborough, it is possible, definitely possible for Deshaun Watson to do that, but I don't know how probable it is. I'd like to see, let's find some Vegas odds on this. Uh, I don't think, do we see, there was like a text, there was a Will Fuller relic, Johnny, that was for you. Uh, Anthony Miller, Jersey Auto. For the Bears, that'll be for Mike Koontz. Out of 200. Out of 150. I don't know where those Baker Mayfields are. There's uh, Robbie Anderson out of 75. I think ho hope, hope springs eternal, especially in the preseason. You know, all the rookies look great, and they're going to be the next Hall of Famer. Everyone thinks that's going to happen, but... It's everything is possible. But then again, there's the difference between possibility and probability. The probability of everything going just right for the team. You know, I don't know if it's going to do that. Out of 150, Drew Brees. Amari Cooper, out of 100, speaking of my Raiders. Justin Jackson for the Bolts. If Keenan Allen stays healthy, if Tyra Williams keeps improving, if Mike Williams is healthy... If Philip Rivers, Philip Rivers can throw fifty touchdowns. So, Vanilla Gorilla St. Joe, I believe the Raiders signed Khalil Mack. That they're gonna make a lot of noise this year. Is that it? Is 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 Khalil Mack the the last piece for the Raiders to make all this all this noise? They're gonna sign. I can't imagine th them not signing him. And the and I feel like the trades. I feel like that trade rumor for Cleo Mack is is definitely fake. It's just the ESPN writer speculating that it could be. I don't think he has any sources from inside the Raiders organization. No one's even whispered that. It's just possible. And then everyone started, everyone started running with it. Rivers is done, Rich says. I don't know. Char LA Chargers fans would have you think. Phillip Rivers, 16 games. Keenan Allen, 16 games. Melvin Gordon. Tyrell Williams. Mike Williams. 50 touchdowns for Phillip Rivers. Yeah, that Raiders Broncos matchup should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. I hope so. I'm cautiously optimistic, but I think I think John Gruden. 
is I'm happy with John Gruden. I'm definitely happy about John Gruden. I think the Raiders are still on a on a on a forward pro- progressing. They have forward progress. <laughs> There's Kareem Hunt die cut, but I I think this season will be a bit of a transitional year. But I think there'll be a lot of good like takeaways from the season, which kind of sucks. But <laughs> that's kind of what I feel like. Um, but I think in the future, I think the Raiders are going to be pretty great. I just don't know if it's going to be this season. Was that the... Where's the parallel? That's not the parallel. Well, maybe it's somewhere else. Oh, there it is. Out of 200. Alex Smith is going to throw 50 TD, says Johnny B. There's Harold Landry for the Titans. I don't know who he... I definitely don't know who... I can't even... Even in my most optimistic, I don't know... I, I don't know where I could find 50 touchdowns on that on there. You know? Simi Cobbs Jr. has to pretty much start the season with 12 touchdowns. you got to chalk him up for 12 to 15. There's Ronald Jones out of 150. Got out of 200. And then we got Trey Quan Smith, Jersey and Auto. Yeah, Jordan Reed has to stay healthy. You gotta you gotta put Jordan Reed 16 games, which is not probable <laughs> or possible. You gotta have Jordan Reed out there. Bright Futures, Carson Wentz to 25. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Unparalleled number nine in the books. Number ten already in the store. This this break flew by. We were all that that wacky 50 touchdown talk by Johnny L. Or is it crazy? I don't know. Well, stick with us all NFL season long, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Johnny Johnny's prediction is right. And he's more than welcome to laugh at us. Laugh in our faces when that happens. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Johnny. We'll see you next time, folks. Jaspie's Bye-bye.